Do you want to know how to master Mixing Meow in Mash Masters? Hey everyone and welcome to a hot new tutorial and we are focusing on our favorite hacker cat Mixy Meow. Now in today's guide we're going to be covering everything amazing about Mixy Meow including how to use the booster in the absolute perfect way so that you can win more boosters, coins and trophies. So like all of my Match Masters video there is also a unique giveaway attached to this one so would you like to get your hands on three free Mixy Meows? Let me know down below in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe and drop a comment. Good luck! So, Mixy Meow. Well, Mixy Meow, the hacker cat, is pretty new to the Legendary and SE gang. So if you scroll to the Legendary and Special Editions tab, you will see Mixy Meow there in your booster collection. So when activated, Mixy Meow will put screens on the board that turn pieces selected into similar colors. You'll then need to follow the kitty code by matching one of the colors listed, and this will convert the other colors in the code into the color you match. So Mixy Meow is definitely one of the best boosters for perpetual boosters. That means that you can use it once and get yourself another booster activation without too much work. So yeah, once you've collected the seven blue pieces that you need to activate Mixy, you can see there pieces are scrambled on the board and then you get a color selection. So you have to match one of the three colors and whichever one you choose to match, so we've chosen purples here, well then the other colors that were available to match from that screen will turn to that color. So you need to basically do a bit of quick math in your head to work out whether the color that you choose will give you an extra move and not only that will it be beneficial if you have a score legend or maybe a multiplier it all depends on the mode that you're playing and that's what we're going to dive into next how to utilize the mode that you're playing to match with mixy meow to guarantee the most points it's time to take a look at some of my favorite modes that i think work really well with mixy meow so first up we have knockout which is the latest mode in match masters and if you haven't tried knockout yet you definitely should it is super super fun and you basically need to whittle down your opponent's score by doing powerful moves on the board. Now it's one round at a time and you only have 10 seconds on the clock so it really is a tough tactical battle and this is why I think Mixy Meow suits this mode absolutely perfectly. You can see here we're playing knockout mode and we've utilized our perks to get ourselves a full booster activation. Our opponent gets to go first with a Dr. Colors SE because there is only SE and legendaries available to use in knockout currently. Okay so Mixy Meow activated then we have our color legend here. So we have the choice between red, purple, or orange. Now with limited time, you have to think quickly here, but it basically means if we were to go for a red match here, then all of the purples and oranges on the board would also turn red. And the same would be said if we were to go for a purple match, then all of the red and oranges would turn purple and the same for orange. You kind of have a choice of three options. So let's see here, if we go for a purple, it's gonna turn many pieces purple. That gives us an extra move. And with five seconds on the clock, because the clock was frozen there, we get ourselves a secondary choice because of the extra move and that means we have an oranges, a yellows or a purples to choose from. We'll go for purples once again and you see half the board goes purple there because the oranges and the yellows went purple and we get another booster activation to go for because our booster is now full because all of those extra moves across the board, it pops off all of the pieces and gives you the blues that you need. Now, you can see there in round three, we have almost dealt half damage to our opponents. So this is a roaring start a knockout and once again you can see the power by choosing a color by filling up the board with that chosen color not only does it give you lots of blue pieces because look at those extra moves all over special pieces everywhere as well if we go for the red tier i mean things are gonna go crazy now and once again we have done a huge blow of damage so mixy meow and knockout the perfect combo now another perfect mode for mixy meow is party rumble so we're playing crazy columns here and in this particular party rumble mode there is only four of us. Now, the reason I think Mixy Meow is absolutely perfect is because of that down the bottom there, that score legend. So it gives you different points for different pieces and what we're going to try and do is match our Mixy Meow booster option. So we activate the booster here and if we want to go for purples or yellows if we can. So purples are available but oranges will be better because sometimes going for the color that you need isn't worth it because you need to basically look at what is available and if it's going to give you an extra move, especially in a mode like Rumble, showdown knockout or party rumble because moves are very very important so we only have four left here so we have yellows purples and greens available now if we were to go for greens for example we need to make sure that when we move them the purples and yellows would be able to turn green in the right combination across the board to give 
give us an extra move. But obviously, purples or yellows is what we ideally want. Now, there is purples available, but there is also a yellow match down below. Now, if we do the yellow match, all of the purples and greens will also turn yellow. And if you look at that constellation in the top right hand corner of the board there, all of them going yellow would guarantee extra moves. So let's do it. Push the yellows together. A huge load of yellows in the top right hand corner, which gives us big points on the score legend. And that move alone has rocketed up, uh, well, almost doubled the points of second place. And we have more booster activations here. We want to go for yellows again, if possible. So we'll do the yellow bomb here. That didn't actually give us an extra move, but that's okay because we have another booster activation we've only burned one move and the timer is almost down for round one as well so you can see in party rumble the benefits by choosing the right color from the options that mixy meow gives you to crack the code into round two it was no problem we kept extending our lead and by going for yellows there all across the board the big amount of points with the score legend by being five per yellow if you can get them across the board and four for purples as well by doing them as much as you can it will rocket your score and that has put us over a thousand in the head of second place with ease so mixing me out on party rumble definitely a great combo especially when you're trying to make fast moves and have repeated boosters now another great mode is color climb so if we check out color climb matching specific colors increases your multiplier so once again we're hoping that we can match the color options we get to crack the kissy code are going to be matched with the colors that we need so our colors are yellows and purples once again so kind of similar to the last mode where we had a color legend so here we go we have a full booster with mixing me out let's see if we can get ourselves a yellow or purple i mean the law of averages say you're likely to get those options so if we go for the purples here, purples across the board, and that gave us, well, two multipliers there and two towards our next booster. We also have yellows and purples again. So another Mixing Meow activation. Let's see what colors we get. So yellows are on the board. It seems like you are always going to get a yellow or purple at least once in a turn of Mixing Meow. So yellows given once again. That's going to be another extra move. We have to go for the oranges, though, because, uh, well, sometimes it's not advantageous to actually do. So if we go back, you can see there isn't actually a yellow match that we can make so we had to go for the oranges but the extra moves that it gives you means you'll get to continue onwards and uh, have another chance another bite of the cherry so we have the purple option again here and if you look there is a green piece there and if we slide this purple up it's going to give an l-shaped extra move of five purple pieces so let's do it here three seconds on the clock though that's going to be an extra move with the purples and that gave us plus three on the multiplier front so we're up to a times 14 now our opponent on a times five so you can see in a mode like this color climb you can get yourself fast fast multipliers with mixy meow now if we check out some of this solo mode so for this example we're going into a score rally match in color crush now you're getting the gist here certain colors being needed are super super essential and in color crush matches explode all pieces of the same color blue and red excluded so our hope here is by having some big matches with mixy meow we're going to be exploding those similar colors and that's going to be clearing off the board and giving us big big points so with Mixy Meow here, once again, we have another option for colors. This time, because there isn't a specific color legend, it doesn't actually matter as to what color we go for. But uh, that's going to help us out big time because we go for the purples there. All of the purples will explode because that is the match that we made because this is the color crush mode. So you can see there, whatever color you go for, it's going to take all of them off the board there. So yellows match. It doesn't matter if they're not all aligning correctly. It just means you're going to be clearing the board of that color. And because you filled up the board with that color, then that's going to mean most of the board is taken off and you're going to have a more chance of getting blue pieces as well. So let's go for a yellow match here. All of the oranges will turn yellow. And because we've made a match on yellows, all of the yellows are taken from the board, which in turn makes other pieces match up. And uh, yeah, basically it clears a whole lot of the board and gets you moving up the points so, so quickly. Other modes like Rainbow work really, really well with Score Rally as well. So for this one, we've got a Score Legend back once again, and we're going to be using the same trick. And I'm going to show you how to easily pass this Score Rally to get some big rewards because there are some big prizes on offer. So our goal should be reached here. We've got ourselves a Mixie to activate into the next one as well. And we have a choice between oranges, greens, and purples. Now, the obvious choice is purples here because not only do they reward 
four on the score legend. But you can see there, there's going to be purples all across the board. That is going to explode, giving us lots of points. There is a new activation of Mixie available, but there are still colors to be matched by the code on the board. So we want to go for a red, green, or orange here. So it looks like oranges will be the best bet because there is reds and greens around them, guaranteeing an extra move. And uh, oranges being the highest up on the score legend, obviously greens were further down. So if the option was to go there for oranges, that was always going to be the play. And there we go. We have reached over 2,100. Rainbow and score rally working in perfect harmony with Mixy Meow. So we ran through some great, powerful examples of how Mixy Meow can work well with modes like Knockout, Party Rumble, modes with score legends like Rainbow, Color Crush, and Color Climb. But what about perks? Well, let's take a look at what perks I think personally work really, really well with Mixy Meow. Now, being a booster all about matching certain colors, you want to help yourself when you just can't quite get to your next booster activation. So a mini mastermind can be pretty handy here. Now, Mixy Meow obviously gives you lots of extra moves when you match the certain colors and you've cracked the code successfully so maybe even perks like create lightning can help pretty well with adding to the special pieces that you've already got on the board but let me know down below which perks do you think work well with Mixie and I'd love to know which modes you prefer to use Mixie Meow with as well and uh, yeah that's been a deep dive into Mixie Meow those are some of my personal favorite modes and perks that I think work well with the booster and don't forget if you want to get your hands on three free Mixie Meow then to make sure you like you comment and you subscribe I hope you enjoyed this Mixy Meow Masterclass and I'll see you soon for more content.